Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we have a new format for the tier list for March 2022, as well as the supers are included already in this tier list for the reference of our new players. And without further ado, guys, here is the tier list. Okay, guys, before we start off, so this tier list will be linked in the description of this video so that you may check it out later so we start off with the figures for beginners so starting from rico up to irina they are your yellow rarity um you can use them when you're starting out i'm discouraging actually calling them tier c because some of them you know some of the players might might think that they're not usable but they're usable as long as you're beginning uh, playing this game so next um, on this side would be your purple um, rarity which is your supers from Hiroshi up to Ume Mizuno they're also um, good once you're starting out the game okay so next off would be um, figures for your mid game so from Ri up to um, Yuina they are the yellow rarity of course and they are actually good up until the mid game until you get better figures um to replace them in your lineup so from yuki up to kazue they are your purple rarity and they are supers as well so you can use them in the mid game um most especially um gonna single out uh, yuki because if she can only be leveled up up to 220 then she can really compete with the best figures on the top of this tier list uh by the way guys just to uh, to give you guys a reminder so supers or purple rarity only have a max level of 160 that is why you cannot really um, count on them once you advance beyond the mid game so you have yuki dolores sapphire chris minakami guayanera and Kazui Iwata. Okay, so that rounds out your mid game figures. Okay, next is your. Um, they are too specialized. So these figures, um, they are. They will be good depending on um, the team that you're gonna put them in and how you're going to use them. So they 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 specialize in um, a specific skill like. Camille for locking up um, figures or enemies. Um, Yamazaki as well. Um, and Norris is actually kind of similar in terms of they attack the furthest, or furthest enemy in a line or the back line. Astaroth is actually reliant so much on energy that I think for him to succeed you have to build a specific energy team around him that, that generates a lot of energy um you have suzumi here suzumi i actually was using before um when i started but she's too reliant on on a team around her that uh, handles summons she's good definitely but certainly with a specific team and you have Sani and uh, Akechi Mitsuhide. So Akechi is more on for your um, Ignite team. Um, <clears throat> he actually is going to uh, shine so much in Ignite teams. And Sani as well. Sani is also specialized um, together with Frost. But um, most Frost don't even use her because... Um, Aside from you know the, her specialization in uh, in frost, she doesn't give that much. But again, um, if she, probably she'll have a rework in the future, she will be you know she can be mac she could splash with any team. But right now she's too specialized in her role that she cannot be used in any other team. So these this row is um, highly specialized either for their skills or for the need of a specific team comp around them okay so next is your good figures so your good figures are basically your average figures they are the 
let's say for example in Zhao Yun here. Zhao Yun doesn't really excel too much as a as a vanguard, but if you don't have somebody good or better than him, he will really be good for you. I used to use Zhao Yun before. Um, really relied on him. Um, he was actually my tank for Galatea, even though he's not a tank. So again, they will drop off eventually in performance, especially if there are better um, there are better figures in their class. So Yoko as well. Um, she's going to be good, but not the best or near the near the best of the figures that you have. Um, Zhao Yu um, and Mako here will definitely be your secondary healers. Um, they they lack um, they lack um, other you know other components to their kit to make them needed in a certain uh, team. Um, I usually pair either of them with Zephyr as a secondary um, healer. Mostly Mako in most of my teams. Um, she complements Zephyr very much. But both Zhao Yu and Mako will definitely be your um, secondary healers. They some they could be your primary healers, but there there are actually better healers than them. Okay. Um, in the middle is going to be Aoi here. So Aoi is what can I say? Um, she excels in in summon teams. But she can also be splashed in other teams if you don't if you still don't have if you don't have somebody that gives shield to your team. Um, Aoi is one of one of the figures that you can rely on, um, especially um, especially if you're still um, trying to find out what your build is. She can really support you and your team. She can do buffs as well. So that is why she is one of the good figures. So next is Yuina Mizu Mizu Mizuki. Okay, so Yuina Mizuki. She's good actually in one-on-one. -on -one. Um one-on-one, -on -one, what they call this? One-on-one -on -one, uh melee damage. Um she excels so much in that that she doesn't really excel in other things. So she might she you know I might call her a bit too specialized but the good thing about her is you can splash her with any team that you build as long as you level her up. So that is why she belongs with one of the good figures that we have. Next is going to be Alfred. Alfred can still be good, can still be above average at this point, but um I actually prefer Rin over her. That is why she, he, Alfred actually was bumped down in favor of Rin. Um, both of them have lifesteal. And uh, I think Rin deals more damage. I think Alfred has more survivability. But overall, when you need um, both high damage and survivability, I, you know, I prefer to go with Rin at this point. But Alfred is still dependable very, very much. Um, very, very much usable if you don't have Rin or other vanguards in your arsenal. So last is going to be Osuke Okada. So Osuke um, doesn't really give that much dam uh, damage. He really, you, uh, she, he actually relies so much on the effects of the skills that he has for freeze. Um, but he is really good in certain content. Like, for example, I just realized that uh, Azazel, if you combine him with uh, Vazerwin, is both of them are going to wreak havoc for Azazel stage. So, again, he's still a good figure, um, but really depends on the opponent or, or the content that you are, um, uh, you are doing at a certain point. Okay, so let's move on to your above average figure. So, these figures are... How might I say above average? They excel in one thing or two things and are good in others as well. So that is why I like them at above average. Like for example, for Vazerwin, she excels so much in... Um, Vazerwin is, is actually right here. She excels so much in AoE damage um, that you sometimes you really have to pick her over Zorola. I did that... 
in some stages because I wanted a lot more damage spread out and with a high, you know, high DPS. So that is why I brought her. Lubo is I I I could put Lubu um one, in one of the best units, but at this point, um I think there there are better um militarists um um above Lubu. So but he's really good. He's really good. Um has a good synergy with uh, the ultimate of um his allies and really really good for Galatea. Um one of the best militarists in Galatea. Ireds, um I'm gonna say that she is one of the best support if you're supporting only one, you know, you're if you're keeping alive one figure, she's one she's the best. So she can be all around as well in terms of um, in terms of her usability, but definitely she excels in support and she is good in all other things. So as you remember, guys, I mentioned Rin. She is above average um, in terms of this tier list. Uh, Rin again, damage is good, survivability is good. Um, you can actually rely on her for bosses, uh, mainly bosses, bosses, and she cannot tank. She's usually an off tank. She deals a lot of damage. And again, survivability is her key in dealing that much damage. So next is going to be Crusos. So definitely for Crusos, uh, one of, one of the best tanks we have, um, survivability wise, very good. In terms of uh, dealing damage or dealing or knocking people down or knocking figures down, he is actually good as well. But again, for a defender, um, in terms of knockdown, it's it's really too short of a knockdown. Um, and usually, um, figures go up eventually. And the, um, again, sometimes... If he cannot do his ultimate, he sometimes gets um, overwhelmed with a lot of damage. He, he can't really survive um, as quick as possible. But again, if he pulls off his ultimate, he cannot really... He, when he gains lifesteal, you cannot really... What do you call this? You cannot um, really put him down that quick. You're going to regret leaving him alone. Okay, so next is... Xanta Kane. So Xanta Kane, I think one of the most um, high DPS specialists that we have. Good for bosses. Good in PvP. I know. I was, you know, I was, um, I was really um, massacred um, a couple of weeks ago with a Xanta Kane. So Xanta Kane excels so much as a specialist with her high damage. Not all specialists actually have high damage, but she she does. So again, she ex excels in that area and she can be good in, uh, in most of the content for the game. Next is going to be Harriet. <clears throat> Harriet with her blind, with her summons is really all around. Um, not only is she, um, not only is she, uh, or not only does she excel in, in what they call this, in summon teams, but you can really splash her with any team. Um, the summons are are a bonus. The damage is her damage is good, but her her blind is actually very very important in some of the boss stages that we have. So I really like her. Um, she's one of the X factors in some of the teams that I have. And the last is um, a new figure, which is Chow Chow. So Chow Chow um, excels in, in giving poison. I think he will be one of the X factors in dealing with mobs if you have, but also in Azazel stage, um, especially in dealing dealing with mobs. Um, mobs are actually kind of interesting to deal with, uh, and sometimes AOE is not enough, but poison will really, really um, do wonders for your team if you have built your cow cow to deal a lot of damage with his poison. So, um, our last tier will be best figures so most of you guys have seen this tier list um megan of course any content you can give you know you can put her in any content 
uh, no matter what the content is, she's going to excel. Zarola, of course, our best um, high DPS uh, militarist that we have. Zephyr, our best helper. Again, hands down with the healing, with the energy, and with um, the buffs that she gives. Zuki Liang, uh, what can I say, um, has won a lot of stages for me, a lot of matches. Especially for you know for boss matches, he really pulls, he really makes a lot a big difference in your team. Um, can't go wrong with him. Um, invest in him if you really you know if you have the means to, because he will help you clear a lot of stages in PVE. So Erixia, especially if you have her at five, five pink or peach uh, or one or two diamond. She is really hard to kill and she gives a lot of support. Sometimes um, you cannot kill her team that she's with because of the shared health that she gives. Uh, definitely one of the best skills or figures that we have. So Hatsune Miko. What I like about this girl is she doesn't she's not she's not really, really restricted to summon teams, but she will really, you know, she will really deal a lot of damage with with summon teams. But again, she's not restricted to summon teams. Um, her mirror image um, doesn't disappear even if she's dead. So the mirror Im image stays there up until your last figure is dead. So again, a very very good figure to have. Um, she can actually some uh, some players actually use Miko instead of Zarola for their militarist needs so again she's a very good you know she's a very good uh, militarist if you have a lot of targets especially and um, very big damage definitely for a militarist next is one of the new um, figures that we have so Ayane Okada I was actually thinking on where to place her whether she's going to be above average or she's one of the best but I realized since I built her, um, I my build for her is actually lifesteal build so that she can, you know, she can, she's a defender, of course, and she has to withstand a lot of, a lot of incoming damage. And I think lifesteal set would do wonders for her. Um, her, her survivability in the battle increases. She's not as tanky as Megan, but definitely her freeze really is, is, is really one i think of the best to have as a defender for you know if she's in the front line and also how she gives a shield uh, supports her team is also one of the things that make her one of the best figures um Aoi actually used to be my number one shield giver but once ayane came in she's a defender she also does freeze again she's, she has a lot of skills within her that she has risen to become one of our best figures in this game. And last but not the least, guys, we have here Sakura. So for Sakura, I realized after, you know, using her in a lot of stages, clearing PvE stages, um, clearing boss stages, that she's really, really valuable. She's the only figure here that dishes out silence. So again, she can silence bosses and she can delay a lot of opponents by using it. She's very unique, unique skill. One of the best. She can also do a little bit of healing as well. She can buff your damage as well. So again, she's a very, very good Swiss Army knife of a figure to do buffs, to do debuffs. Uh, to do heals and I think is one of the best figures and very underrated in this game So there you have it guys. This is the new tier list the new format for the tier list. Hopefully um, I could get comments from you guys if you prefer this format of tier list over the uh, of the previous one so please put them down in the comment section below and also put your comments if I got um, the tier right for them and if not put your comments so that we could you know we could discuss and debate if they should be up or they should be transferred to another tier aside from their existing one okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far and uh take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here